Wow, that was so cool learning about all different animal coats. Now let me teach you how to draw some animal coats on paper. The first coat I'm starting with is a porcupine coat. I'm drawing lots of spikes to show the spikes that are all over their bodies. You could do this by drawing lines all over your paper. These lines can overlap or they can go side by side. You can then color your whole page to show the color of their bodies. The next coat I'm showing you is a zebra coat. I'm going to start by drawing thick lines as their stripes. I'm trying to fill my whole page with these stripes to make a beautiful pattern. Once you draw in all your lines, you can color them in. Next, I'll show you how to do a giraffe coat. I start by finding a brown color and making blocky shapes all over the paper. These are organic shapes, which mean they're not perfect circles or perfect squares. They're somewhere in between. Filling up my whole page with these shapes and then I can go on to color. The last coat I'm going to do is a reptile coat. Reptiles have scales, so I'm going to draw in some scales by doing some bumpy lines all the way across my paper. I'm going to fill up my whole paper with these bumpy lines, and then I can begin to color them in. Make sure you take your time when you're coloring in. You can use different colors and blend them together to make different types of scales. You're not limited to the coats that I show you today. You can also do all different kinds of animal coats, maybe some you saw in the video too. You can do feathers, cheetah print, or furry pattern. It's completely up to you. Once you're finished making all of your animal coats, you could 
make them into a card. So if I want to take my zebra print and make it into a card, I could fold it in half and write something on the front or on the inside of the card. You could do this with any of them. So have fun making your animal coats and have a happy Friday.